Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today the third in a series of videos on existing in harmony with other beings on and beyond earth by Alice B. Claggett. This, the third in the series, has to do with the sentient astral beings known as the Jinn and the Fritz. The Jinn uh, are known in the West as genies. The singular of the word jinn is jinni. So these are all the same beings. Jinn, jinni, the singular, and genies, as in Arabian Nights. Islam has known of these beings for centuries, yet they are almost unknown in Western culture. They are family-oriented, power-loving, and possessed of powers with regard to the plane of forces greatly superior to those of humankind. The Jinn and the Fritz love dry, sandy places. We humans have been testing atomic weapons and waging war in their homelands. I say, let our military forces and those of all nations consider the rights of the Jinn and the Fritz to live in peaceful harmony with humankind. Let us set aside the deserts of earth as their respected dwelling places. Here is a warning. Let them be to themselves. Looking to history to see what attempting to align with them can bring about we have the example of King David, who formed an alliance with them. True, he was able through genocide of foreign tribes. 50,000 men, women, and children were slain to gain control of the regions round about where he lived. But through karmic involution, this act of genocide brought about the dark times of the Holocaust, during which millions of Jews died. A further result is unending war in the Middle East, where the Jews and the Arabs are encroaching on desert homelands of the Jinn and the Fritz. It is the Jinn and the Fritz that can cause Jews and Arabs to war on each other by ratcheting up their aggressive instincts. You know, a little breeze just came up. I've, uh, this topic has brought me to the attention of the local Jinn, but only a mild interest is stirring so far. So we'll see what happens as I attempt with this video a little bit farther. The Jinn are the masters of the winds and of the, of the vortices of Earth, of the electromagnetic energy grids, and also of the whirlwinds of Earth, of the tornadoes and the water spouts of Earth. So, that was an aside. It is a jinn and a fritz that can cause Jews and Arabs to war on each other by ratcheting up their aggressive instincts. Why would they do this? Because both Jews and Arabs are invading their homelands and giving birth to more children that take more of the territory belonging to the Jinn and the Fritz. This human territorial expansion into the deserts threatens the children of the Jinn and the Fritz. The Jinn and Afrits have inhabited Earth far longer than has humankind, and they have equal rights to live here. They are worthy of respect. Let our intentions toward them be respectful and peaceful. 
let us no longer unwittingly wage war on their homelands. As to what will happen during the awakening, their aspect is of power and respect for power, reveling in the powers of the natural world. This energy strand may be best suited to a long sleep during the Age of Light, though it is entirely suitable to the 10,000-year ages of darkness on Earth. They may choose to live quietly during this age of life or to enjoy life on a dry planet elsewhere during this age of life. They are, however, quite fond of Earth. It is their homeland, just as it is ours. Discussions are underway with the Galactic Council regarding their options. I am certain that their great wisdom will see them through to the proper interim path. I, I feel that the Jin Babies sliders are those that maintain the uh, purity, the pristine nature of our own chakras, our human chakras, and those of other beings on Earth. And because they're like vortices, they're like whirlwinds, and they like to slide around there. and. Uh, and that sliding around actually heals up our, our electromagnetic field. And I, I also found out that I love to, to enjoy the riding through the matrices, the vortices, the violent and, and peaceful and balanced vortices of Earth. They, they love to ride through them. And, and that riding through that they do maintains the the purity and the pristine nature of the electromagnetic field of Earth herself. So it seems to me, though they love power, and though they may choose to, to move to another world, there will no doubt be a contingent of jinn that stays here, here on their home planet where they love to be. That's, that's my thought on the topic right now. A final word or two regarding the jinn. The jinn are quite something with which to communicate if you get a chance to talk with them. You may wish to affirm that they are a very resplendent people, very bright, full of light and wisdom and power. You may wish to affirm, I am humbled by your wisdom, noble sir. For more on discourse with them, go to my blog on my website, Awakening with Planet Earth. That's at awakeningwithplanetearth.com. The title of the blog to look for is Dealing with the Disincarnate Gods. When you get there, search for the word Vyasa. V as in Victor, Y, A, S as in Sam, A. And read the following text. It is clear to me from that text that the disincarnate gods, whom I term novice ascended masters, work with the jinn, as the conversation described there is couched in terms used by the jinn cultures. For more on the fate of the novice ascended masters during this time of transition, See one of my subsequent videos in this series. Now I have just a little on the Afrits, which are related to the Jinn. These beings are variously termed Ifrit, Efrit, Efret Frit, Ifrit, Afrit, Afrit, and spelled differently, a frit. I have never run across an afrit, but I have heard they are pretty fearsome. They may delight, for instance, in causing murder, auto accidents, and other calamities for humankind. I feel their attitude towards humans is hostile, as is the attitude of some supervisory nature spirits. Not devas, but those who do their work on a lower level, 
who have been driven half mad by human disregard for the natural world. I cannot advise as to diplomacy regarding the Afrits. Avoiding them might be best till more is known about them. Well, that's all for now, dear ones. May you stay safe in these troublesome times. Talk to you again quite soon.